Hey guys, it's Zach Lubin. It's Trivia Tuesday, and let's get after some questions. What is your favorite button on Madden? The truck stick? It probably would be, but I don't play video games, so I don't know. What inanimate object do you wish you could eliminate from existence? I put some thought into this. I can't figure it out, but I do really struggle with inanimate objects when they don't cooperate. And it's not my finest moment, but it happened a couple days ago, and I was putting up my sunshade and it would not stay up. And after like four or five tries, I got so mad that I just shredded it. I just started ripping it apart. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's kind of my pet peeve. When they don't cooperate and do what they're supposed to do, I, just, I lose my temper. Did you even feel it when you checked that guy last year and destroyed him? No, but I was pretty upset that I like dropped the ball even though he like kicked it out of my hands because his feet went above his head. Wiley Coyote or the Roadrunner? Uh, Wiley Coyote. His ingenuity was incredible. His attempts and willpower to just keep going after this thing was awesome. So I appreciate him. What's your favorite dessert? Uh, cheesecake or cookies and milk? Can't go wrong with either. What brand of gloves do you wear and why? Uh, West Coast goalkeeping. Best glove out there. I started with them back in like 2013. It was one of their first pros. They're out of Seattle. Their backstory is incredible as well. They started to help underprivileged kids get cheap gloves. Would you rather fight 50 Asante sized Lamberts or one Lambert sized Asante? That was a tough one. I think one Lambert sized Asante, even though he might be 50 of them, might be little, Lambert is like dense was the best way I put it. He might look long and lanky, but you run into him and it's like hitting a wall. Everyone says keepers are crazy. Are they? Or are they normal and everyone else is crazy? I think we're normal and everyone else is crazy because, uh, you know, it's weird to be normal in a crazy world. So I think that in turn makes you crazy. So the crazy people in a crazy world are the normal ones, which, so yeah, we're normal. In Montana, fly fishing or bait fishing? Fly fishing, 100%. Uh, my dad's biggest pastime. I grew up fly fishing, uh, hands down. I think it's way more fun too. What's your favorite outdoor pastime? Uh, probably camping. Uh, that was our family, you know, trips every weekend or whatever it was, fishing, camping uh, constantly during the summer. Bring backup food that's easy to make because uh, if you rely on, you know, you catching a fish or something for dinner, it's probably not gonna happen. What actor portrayed Superman the best? Never been a fan of Superman, so I have no comment. Are there any family traditions that you want to continue and pass on to your future family? Uh, two, we do gummy bears in weird ways every Christmas. Like somehow my mom surprises our family with gummy bears, but in ways you'd least expect. And also, whenever we have fortune cookies, my dad convinced us forever that it's so ancient truth that no one knows about anymore. But the only way your fortune comes true is if you get the fortune out of the cookie without breaking it. And that's definitely what I'm gonna mess with my kids on because I probably would never succeeded. What is your favorite TV theme tune that you like so much you even have it on your daily playlist? Uh, Big Rich Town uh, by for Power. It's done by 50 Cent, I listen to that. And then they also have another one, Muddy Water. So there's a couple, but I will say between me and my girlfriend Brenna, we almost enjoy hearing new HBO uh, intro songs more than the show, because I think that dictates it, and they do a really good job with their intros. What's your favorite place to fish in Montana? Uh, definitely the Missouri River around like Craig and the Gates of the Mountain. Uh, we have a cabin up there. Uh, that's our little getaway. That's where me and my dad are always fishing whenever I have the chance to get out there and go. When did you realize you had mutant goal-saving abilities? Before or after you got that badass scar on your face? I would say probably after because once I got my face shredded open, it was kind of like, I can't look any worse. So, you know, no need to be scared throwing my face around into things. If you could only have one type of cheese for the rest of your life, which type would it be? Burrata. If there's burrata on the menu, it's happening. And you probably put that on anything. Wanted to say mozzarella, but I'd probably put burrata on a pizza or something like, that'd be, that's the go-to. Favorite hockey play of all time? Probably Dominic Hasek, just watching him play goalie. Like the way he 
would roll around on his back and save things at the back post with his glove or rolling around, tossing his, stacking his pads in the air. Uh, that was my favorite. But then player, I wasn't sure what the question was. Player is Peter Forsberg. Uh, he'd be hands down. Uh, always been a Colorado fan. What's your most memorable memory about racing outside of Anaconda? Uh, Anaconda is a small town in Montana, for you guys who don't know, and they hold a big motocross race. Um, I had a bunch of friends who were like pro motocrossers, and just I never got to race competitively, but I always rode with them constantly, and to just I would go to the races with them. Uh, but it's just so fun to be with my friends and go camping and be around it. And honestly, the smell of burning race fuel is really nice, actually. What teacher made an impact on you during your high school years? Uh, definitely my government and history teacher. Uh, he's the reason why I majored in history in college and minored in political science. Uh, he made learning about history and government enjoyable. And, you know, that's why I chose it in college. And I even at that point wanted to be a senator, um, but uh, never made it to law school. And so probably won't be going back, which I don't regret at all. I'm very happy that I played soccer. What is your favorite TV show or movie that you love to binge watch or just rewatch all the time? Uh, probably The Office. I watch it constantly. I run it back. And now I've realized that some of the best parts of the show are the characters in the background and how they react to things. You look at their faces and stuff. They are hilarious. It's not just the dialogue and the people involved, but everyone in the background. And so I'm constantly seeing new things. Favorite away stadium to play in the USL West? It was Sacramento, but honestly, I think it might be New Mexico now because that game last year was so fun. There's a great atmosphere. All of our, a ton of our fans travel to you know walk out on the field and see a section of their stadium with our fans. The environment was just amazing. So I'd have to say like that was one of the top uh, experiences in the USL for sure. Who's the best pranker on the team and why? I gotta say Joey Calistri. He got me so bad last year. He definitely owns a piece of real estate in my brain at this moment. I'm trying to sell. Don't think it's a buyer's market, but I'm working on it. He, he got me good. That's it. Thank you guys for all the questions. Uh, a lot of fun answering them. Some very original questions. It was great to think about, kind of taking me through my past as well. Uh, can't wait to see you guys out at the end of the month of the next home game.